Alright guys, how's it going? Stone so here, and today back here with a live stream with Steam Prison. So, this is a visual novel game, so I'm quite eager to bring it to you. That being said, to kick off the show and let's see how it goes. Only the first name can be changed, okay. So we just keep it as Cyrus. Darkness. At first, there is nothing but a starless black void. Then, I began to come back to my senses, starting with smell. I could smell dust. <laughs> I could smell perfume. And a moment later, my sen senses of touch returned. My fingers were drenched in warm liquid. As I flexed my knuckles, I came to an important realization. I existed. I was alive. I opened my eyes, letting light into the void. I'm at home. My vision blurred every time I took a breath. It was hard to focus on anything. There was a stinging pain in the back of my head. But at least I'm not... But at least I'm... I had to get up. I took two deep breaths, then climbed to my feet. That improved easier than I expected. My mind was sluggish. My thoughts moved like mud. I didn't know why I was there. I didn't know how I'd, be, how, how I'd come to be unconscious. I didn't know what... No. I knew what I could smell. I could smell blood. Okay. I turned. There were two figures spawned on the floor. No, it can't be. Father, mother, why? Who would do this? I couldn't imagine a culprit, much less, much less the motive that was behind the shocking scene like this. Questions overwhelmed my thoughts like a noisy crowd. My heart began to race. My gaze caught that of my reflection. I... I... I had killed them. Well, that's one way to start off a game, innit? A little intro here now. So, straight away, we've outright murdered our own parents. So, <laughs> what else is gonna be? What else are we gonna be doing? I'm guessing this is the, uh, like, a mini intro, at least. I'm gonna let it play out anyway, so that way we can actually see what it's all about.
A world long bound within the birds, so I think we get to see the rest of that. Two days before the case. Okay. <clears throat> the time. I've got a little sword here. It's almost noon. I'd like to sleep a little more. But then I'll be late. I climb out of bed. As I dressed, I checked what the sky was like out the window. Looks like a fair enough day. It didn't matter much to me what kind of day it was. Except for those times when bad weather made my work difficult. That's it. I put on my familiar uniform and book my sword belt. Then straightened up in front of the mirror. My skin was clear and healthy, and I was in high spirits. If nothing else, I never felt I never feel run down. My job required a lot of physical exercise. I couldn't compete with my colleagues in terms of physical strength, but endurance and fortitude were excellent. The only remaining step in my routine was to comb my hair. Alright, time for another day of work. What are you working as to the point where you need a sword? I went to the dining room for a bite to eat. Good day, mother. Father. I made sure to acknowledge the servants as well with polite nods. Oh, you're already awake. <laughs> I can't spend the day sleeping. I'm on duty this afternoon. My mother knelt in front of a small statue to pray. I joined her and closed my eyes. May today be uneventful. We pray to you and... Teki? I do apologize if I'm saying that wrong, I'm not too sure. He was our country's greatest saint. He was ageless and immortal, blessed by God. He was our... He was... He was... I don't know, and we worshipped him. I asked the servants to bring me my meal. This is also a made-up story, by the way. I like think here you're watching is completely fiction. My father turned his attention away from the newspaper and towards me. I tensed a little. You must be exhausted. You had the night shift as well, didn't you? There's no need for you to worry. Doing what I love is energizing, not exhausting. You might think so, but I have my doubts. Are you really getting enough rest? I sat down on the chair, nodding, nodding, eff, eff, <laughs> I don't know. You both worry far too much about me. There isn't any reason to. You can see for yourselves how healthy I am. We had a variation of the same conversation almost every day. It's heartwarming that they care so much about me, but I'm an adult. I know my limits. There's truly no cause for concern. I'll complete my duties and then come back, just as I always do. Duties. Why did you insist on joining the police force? You could have followed in my footsteps if you wanted to. No, I'm afraid I couldn't have become a politician. Sitting still irritates me, and being quiet for hours would have been unbearable. I know, but being a police officer is so dangerous. 
Mother, we went through this a long time ago. My reason then still stands. I want to protect the weak. Even if we will never see eye to eye, you agree to support me my ambition. Please, don't go back to trying to dis dis distort me from from me. Distort me from it. You're, you're right. I'm sorry. I'll try not to. I appreciate it. And I'm deep deeply grateful. That you've given me freedom to pursue this career despite my high birth. Thank you. You're always have been a stubborn girl. If we can't convince you, we have to support you. Now, in other matters... Yes? I have a bad feeling. I began to eat as a way for my father to speak. You really need to try on the wedding dress. <coughs> yeah? I choked on my food. My mother nodded as I splurted. Yes, today. You haven't forgotten the wedding, have you? Uh, maybe a little. <laughs> I gave a weary grin, oh, hope wiping away the tears from my coughing fit. Really now? You understand this is your own wedding we're talking about here, don't you? Somewhat. I suppose. My girl, even if you're not yet 20, you're an adult. This is about your future. How can it just slip your mind? I'm sorry. In my country, adulthood begins at 16. Once compulsory education comes to an end. At that age, we can find employment, drink alcohol, and and the temple begins to send out marriage notifications. It's not like I think of myself as a child. I didn't know what to say. My father pressed the attack with a bored smile. Marrying Fitz, I'm just going to call him Fitz, Fitz Evans, nursing our family tree with the Evans family is a true honor. I wanted to proceed with the so many preparations as swiftly as possible. So as to avoid any possible insult to them. And for that, you must try on a wedding dress. Understand? It, yes. The stairs made me feel deeply uncomfortable. If I'd attempt to drag, myself, drag any of the servants into the discussion, they'd have taken my parents' side for certain. What am I going to do? Oh. My colleague is here. Goodbye. And the dress? Have a wonderful day, both of you. Goodbye. That girl. Does she really understand, I wonder? We'll see. Good morning. It's an honor to serve with you. Finn. Thank God you're here. You're my savior. Savior? My galliant knight, come to save me from the obnoxious parents. Great job, Finn. You make it far in the force. 
はい、さっそうでもないような。ああ、Thank you, but I'm not a knight. よくわかりませんけど、喜んでもらえたなら嬉しいです。さあ、行きましょうか。I don't understand what's happening, but I'm glad if I could be of service to you. Let's go then. Sure. Time to protect peace and, cri and fight crime. Yes. Finn agreed, smiling softly. Finn's last name was. E e Euclus? I don't know. And he was rank one officer at the temple like me. Under one ordinary circumstance, police officers always patrolled in pairs. Finn was my partner, and we've been serving together since the beginning. He was four years older than I was, though. Despite our ages, I thought of him as a younger brother. Because of, his gentle, gen, because of his gentle and quiet personality. If Finn hadn't arrived, who knows how that would have ended. Marriage. I didn't actually forget about trying on the dress. I mulled over for my parents had, had said, sighing. Finn didn't hide his worry as he walked beside me, asking questions in his timid way. I don't know. ご両親と何かあったんですか Um, has something happened between you and your parents? Yeah, they told me to go and try on some dress again. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Ah, すみません。キルス様がめんどくさがるとは珍しいなと思い、つい。Oh, I'm sorry. It's unusual to see you frustrated by anything, Lady Cyrus. It's amusing. Uh, it's amusing. I may not fully understand since I'm a man, but is trying on the dress difficult? Nah, I don't hate it because it's difficult. Oh, uh, when I said dress, I meant wedding dress. Ah, ご結婚用のなるほどキルス様はあまりご結婚に興味がないんでしたあ、uh, oh, uh, wedding dress I see You're not particularly interested in marrying, Lady Cyrus Not particularly Not at all is more like it Don't you think it's pretty annoying? そ、そうでしょうか知人の姉などは憧れだと言っていましたが I, I don't know. My friend's sister was looking forward to it for a long time. Looking forward to it? It's just a pain, isn't it? First are all those meetings, like when you see him for the first time. Then you have to prepare for some stupid ceremony. There's so much dumb stuff for something that's just meant to, be, meant to continue the family. Trying on the dress is just part of that. I've had to try on a whole bunch already. I'm not a doll, you know. I want to focus on police duties instead. I feel that's better. That's better for myself and for, and for the country. Don't you agree? <laughs> that's all very like you. What have we got up here? So we can save. Okay, that's good. Of course it is. I said it. I nodded, at, I nodded at Finn in agreement. The problem is my parents. Especially my mother. She's just way too happy. You'd think it was her who was, got, who was getting married, not me. Yes, well, I can't blame her. Your husband, um, he's from a good family, isn't he? Lord Fitz Evans, yes. Evans, k e h o n t o l i o k e d o k o r o n o h a n a s i j a n a i d e s n e o r e n i t o t e k u m o n o u e n o s h t o d e s Evans, that's more than just a good family, then. They live in an entirely different world from me. What are you talking about? I'm marrying a human, not a saint. So, there was so desga. Evans, k e t o y e b a Shaku, you use the Kizoku. 俺みたいなものにとっては
近づくのもためらわれるようなお方です。I suppose, but the Evans family up, up here is up the realm. I would hesitate to even talk to them. Are they really that imposing? Nobility only exists in name these days. Even my family has some titles. Yeah, Nabakari deva. Tasho wa chigato m o i m a s o f u r m a i t o k a s h i t a r i t o k a Orewa k i z o k deva n i n o de, w a k a r i m a s e n k e t o It isn't really a name. I'm sure your manners are different class to mine. Not that I would be able to tell, being lower born. Tonikaku, sono. Yoki enni megumarete yokata desne. At any rate. Is a fortuitous marriage, I think. Yeah, for the Tis Tistella family, anyway. But for me, you hesitate. I give Finn a pained grin. The people marry whoever the government、uh, designates and have children. I understand this is very important for the future of the country, but as a wife, it would be expected of me to quit my job when, it come, when it's time for me to devote myself to motherhood. But when I think about having to leave the work I love, even temporary, in the not so distant future, All I feel is annoyed. Naruto. I see. I wish I was like you. Like me? Yeah, like you. Men aren't, men aren't as directly involved with the business of parenting when their fathers, when their fathers as women have to be as mothers. You don't have to stop, stop away from your job. You don't have to sacrifice your own desires for society. I wish I'd been born a man. That wouldn't be ideal. Why not? Because he likes you. Um, because, well. Because you are who you are. I can't imagine any other Lady Cyrus. Ben? Uh, anyway, I prefer the current Lady Cyrus. So please don't talk like that about yourself. I'm sorry. Ben? He apologized again and bowed his head. You are so stupidly serious. He was older, taller, and stronger, and stronger physically than me. But I couldn't remember a time when he wasn't soft spoken, second guessing himself with every word. I suppose it shows how honest he is. Finn, aren't you forgetting about something? I poked him in the side. He turned his head towards me. I'm your colleague. I've already told you a few times that you shouldn't call me lady. Ben covered his mouth with his right hand, startled by his own absolute mistake. Sumimase, Oreni tote, Tistera keno gosokujo, Kirus sama. Aye, Kirus mo, Kumo no ueno hito deskara. Tsi. I'm sorry. As the daughter of the Tistel family, Lady Cyrus. I mean, you live in a different world from me, Cyrus, so I. Alright, I know you care deeply about a person's birth and bloodline. But right now, I'm your colleague, your partner. It puts me on edge to be called Lady Cyrus by you all the time. Can you at least try a, li a little less stiff? Yes, I shall, Cyrus. Yeah? Ah, yeah. Sumimase, yon de mita dakedes. Nanda ka telemasne. I'm sorry, I wanted to try it. Wow, that makes me blush. 
Really, Finn? Uh, hi. Uh, yes? Finn, Finn, Finn. Ano, do Um, what is it? <laughs> I'm trying to understand you. I'm not blushing, though. Finn. <laughs> あの、名前を連呼されると俺の方が恥ずかしくなります。え、うーん。あ、ウィド The center of our country was the temple. Almost all public, public servants, including the police officers, worked inside its walls. It had been two years since I became a rank one police officer. Going to the temple every day had become familiar routine. It's hard to keep you waiting, Finn. Here's our patrol route for today. I see. It's around the market. Doesn't your family live around here? We could drop by. No, I... Uh... Ah, Testella. I've been looking for you. Sir Cordoa. The large frame of Kodoa Hayes swayed towards me. A rank free police officer. He was our direct superior. What is it, Sir Dakota? As I'm sure you remember, the rank 2 promotion examinations concluded recently. I want to discuss the results. He turned and began to walk away again immediately. Examination results aren't exactly something we can talk about in the hallway. I glanced at Finn as we followed Sir Dekoa together. What kind of room is this? Gai-rai-yo-no-shukuhaku-shitsu-da. Quarters for the foreign visitors. The meeting rooms are all in use right now, so we use this room for the moment. These are certainly well appointed for guests. That bed looks very soft. I wish they'd funnel the money they spend on this into our equipment instead. Oh well. Are ready to hear the results of your promotion examinations? Yes, always. You seem very composed, Testella. Nothing I'd do would change things now. I did everything I could. I'll accept whatever result I get. <laughs> I would have expected nothing less of you, Testella. You place on either hand. I know, I don't know to say his name. The, the promotion examination? I'm starting to sweat. Finn, for the love of God. Ha-ha-ha!Euclid-kun,もいつも通りだな。では、結果を言い渡す。Tistira-kun,Euclid-kun,君たちは... <laughs> always being his usual self. Well, on the results. Okay. 試験に合格した。You both pass. Congratulations. ほ、本当ですか? やりましたね、キリス様。でなく。Really? We did it, Lady Cyrus. I mean Cyrus. Yeah. Good job, Finn. You worked hard. 
No, I... I... I didn't do... Oh no. I'm not letting you get away with that. I know you studied so much that you went without sleep. Um, well, I didn't want to be a burden on you. A burden? But you need to take more pride in what you do. You're more competent than you think. Just the other day. <clears throat> Please wait until later for the chatter. I still have more to say. Oh, apologies. Please continue, sir. He nodded and handed each of us a white envelope. This is your provisional pro promotion certificate. Try not to lose it until you receive the real one. This serves another purpose as well. It's an observation permit for the depths. The depths? We and I both gulped when we heard that, that word. The depths? Were we sending our criminals? That's right. Precisely. Every officer who passes the promotion examination must then undertake an observation mission. Once you come back, you will officially be ranked two officers. I see. You're asking the two of us to go into a den of criminals? Isn't that dangerous? I couldn't blame Finn for being afraid. The deaths were a long way from our country. Everyone I knew had been taught from a young age to fear the depths. When I was a young girl, my father used to tell me that if I didn't, if I did something bad, he would send me into the depths where the demons live. I knew that if, I ord if ordered, I would go. I suspect we are sent there precisely because it is dangerous. Am I correct, sir, C Cordoa? Ah, shogak sereba. Yes. After promotion, you'll be given important assignments. We may require you to handle extremely vile criminals in future, and it's imperative that you see where, they, where we send them. I understand. Finn. You're going as well, right? Uh, uh, yes, I can do it. Pull yourself together. You won't be going alone. I'll be there with you. The two of us can handle it, don't you think? Uh, yes. I think I'll be fine when I'm with you, Cyrus. Relax. We have a guide for you there. A guide? Yes, we have guards to keep the criminals in check. They'll protect you. Almost Almost everyone who goes on the observation missions come back in one piece. You'll be fine, as long as you don't do anything foolish. Almost everyone, huh? I'm a competent sword fighter. I'll protect myself and Finn. I will protect you too, Cyrus. Even at the cost of my life. <laughs> Excellent. Your observation mission begins tomorrow. The details are on your temporary permit. 
Please read it carefully. Roger. After Sir Cordoba left, Finn murmured something about depths. Maybe the criminals aren't running around the show, running the show there. But I can't imagine it's a safe place. Let's both be on our guard. Finn nodded at me, then put the envelope away. We can make plans for tomorrow later. We have work to do today. So we're going to the depths, or we're still technically doing the market for now. Looks like it's quiet as usual. The daytime shifts are going good like that. Nothing much happens. As rank 1 officers, the majority of our assignments were patrols. We just had to do our rounds of the inner city, resolving anything that might require our attention. We won't have the chance to patrol as often as we're promoted, once we're promoted. Probably. I hear that rank 2 is mostly officers, office work, and investigations. Do you like this better? Yeah, I like these assignments. Of course, it's important to investigate big crimes. But I like being on patrol and looking at things the same way as ordinary citizens. It feels very meaningful. Always faithful, huh? Yeah, always faithful. As police officers, we serve the people. I want to remember that, that even if I get promoted... You look as dashing as always, my lady. Lord Fitz. I turned. I knew this man. His name was Evans. I don't know how to say his first name. He was the heir apparent of the Evans family and worked as a secretary for the politician father, Warner Evans. He was also my betrothed. I don't dislike him, but... We'd met each other a few times, even before our engagement, but I hadn't been well ac acquainted. We'd spent our childhoods in the same schoolhouse, and occasionally conversed at dinner, t dinner parties. He was a pleasant, soft-spoken man. There was little to find disagreeable about him, but... That doesn't make me want to marry him. Since his prospect of marrying him did not sit well with me, even talking on the street with him made me a little uncomfortable. I would have liked to invite you for tea, but it seems you're working. A pity. Yes, perhaps another time. He agreed with a smile, and he turned to Finn. Good day, you are... My apologies, I've forgotten your name. Oh. Oh, I'm Finn. Ah, Ah, yes, your family owns the Euclid's family. Huh, it's amusing, really. Distera can you creeske? Sorry, sorry, you sure are you gonna do any? Kimmy that's a dotter mo kagio tsugazu. Bet no micho ayunde. The Testellas and the Euclases are both well-respected lineages. <laughs> and yet neither of their children are joining the family business. I fail to see the strange in this. We are guaranteed professional freedom by law. But... 
Yes, but ordinary children following the steps of their parents. Most choose the safest and most stable route. Well. Oh, I apologize. I didn't mean to upset you. If this is what you hoped and wished for, I think it's wonderful that you were able to pursue it. Excuse me. Good day, my lady. Yes, good day to you. I liked black tea, but did not feel drinking feel like drinking it with him. The pressures of pro protocol and suitable conversation would have made me feel self conscious. Good thing I'm on duty right now. What watch Lord Fitz walk away and deflate flated with relief. He's pretty cool. Really? Absolutely. He's very refined and kind, and despite his high birth, he talks to me. I see. If you like him so much, maybe you should marry him. What? But I can't. Why are you so serious? I know you can't. You make a nice pair with how highly you think of him, that's all. I only gave credit where it's due. Do you dislike him, Lady Cyrus? Don't call me a lady. Finn gave me another quick apology. In response, to his, in response to his question, I shook my head. I don't dislike him. I think he's very agreeable. I'm surprised he was paired with a tomboy like me. I just... It's not what... It's not what I can accept his... It's not I can't accept his personality. It's the kind of having to marry. Curious. Cyrus. I can't spend all my days complaining though. This marriage is ordained by law. As a police officer, I uphold the, I uphold the law. What kind of police officer would I be if I don't accept this? Alright, this evening I'm going to try on the wedding dress. Will you come with me, Finn? Gladly. Thanks, that will help. If the country is going to pick my husband for me, why well, can't I pick my wedding dress too? <laughs> if it decided anything for me, I could just accept my fate. Think of it through foot patrols. Nothing can be made better by making it more efficient. I see. I suppose you have a point. Um, so when is the marriage ceremony? Beats me. What? It's your wedding. But, well, it's not a very high priority for me. Finn gave me an exaggerated and a smile. I can't blame her for being a little fed up. The conversation was starting to feel awkward. I decided to change the, the topic. Right, what about you? Then looked at me qui uh, quizzically. I ran into your father the other day. He told me your own wedding has been postponed. Yes, I didn't feel like I was secure enough yet to marry. Secure? I wasn't sure whether I could be the head of a household as a rank 1 officer. We use an exception in the law to postpone the wedding. 
安定した生活は大事だと理解してくれています。I will talk to the other family about it, of course. They understand that it's important to have a stable life first. An exception in the law? I see. I didn't realize that was possible. What's wrong? Hmm? No, nothing. Don't mind me. A stable life, huh? Well, you passed my promotion exam. That should do you wonders for your salary. Ah, so this. 法的に認められた延期とはいえ人口計画に反しているわけですから昇格による措置の撤回もありそうです。Oh, yes, I suppose. The government might withdraw the, the postponement once I I'm promoted. This doesn't fit the population plan. I see. Finn's getting married. なんだか楽しそうですね。Why is that so funny? I'm laughing because I'm pleased. My wonderful partner is getting married. Congratulations. So, I'm not going to be able to get married. I'm not so sure. Besides, you don't even like your own wedding. No, that's a completely different situation. You're four years older than I am. Our ranks might be the same. I'm going to use you as a mentor and learn from your example. Walk proudly into the harbor of marriage, Finn. I'll follow in your footsteps eventually. You're clearly making fun of me, but I'll do my best. Thanks. I have high hopes. So, what's she like, the woman you're marrying? So far, you've always deflected the question. You better spit it out now. So, 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 she. Did you hear that? Something happened. There, the woman. Are you hurt, my lady? I'm okay, but my. What happened? That, that man took my bag. Looked in the direction she was pointing. We can only see his back, but he was carrying what looked like a bag. Finn, let's get him. Hi. Roger. It's hard to squeeze through this crowd. I took my whistle and blew it as hard as I could. The crowd parted at the sound. Thank you. Let's split up. Cyrus, go straight here. Finn ran into a side road. Finn knows more about this area than I do. Hoping he would be able to find his way back to me, I kept following our target. Surrender. If you give yourself up quietly, you won't... You won't catch me. What? The man began to throw items at me from the street stalls. I had to be careful not to trip over anything underfoot. Yeah. Theft alone wasn't enough. You had to add obstruction of justice and property damage. You won't escape. I raced down the street after the man. I was closing in on him. I can do this. Just as I was al almost in my grasp, he threw the bag at me. What? The bag sailed through the air over my head, landing behind me. I was supposed to retrieve the bag, but... If I stopped to pick up the bag, he would escape. I had to choose, choose between that and catch and catching him. Alright, let's have a quick save here. That way we can jump back to this area quite rapidly. Seems like we've got plenty of saves anyway for this. Catch the man. I didn't want to leave the bag on the ground. But I couldn't let him escape either. 
I have to catch him no matter what. I managed a new burst of speed and slammed into his back. We both rolled across the pavement. Ugh. Surrender. Even if he wanted to escape, he couldn't. I sat on his body and restrained him with a rope. You have to re right to remain silent. Everything you say can and can be used against you. You... Let me go. Stop struggling. Anyway, you're under arrest. You can think about a good excuse while you're in the cell. I checked the rope to make sure he couldn't free himself. Then I stood up. The man stayed on the ground, restrained, uh, resigned to his fate. Good grief. <laughs> That's how there's nothing to do for me, look, nothing for me to do anymore. Ben. This is I found this on the way. I believe it's the woman's. You picked it up. Good work. Oh, I didn't do anything. Stand still for a moment. Huh? Finn took a white handkerchief and wiped something off my cheek. There. You have some dirt on your cheek. I'll handle that culprit now. Thanks. Alright, let's go back to the lady. Hi. Yes. Hello. We've caught the, cr the criminal and retrieved your bag. It seems to be undamaged. Would you please check the contents just in case? <laughs> yes, it's all there. Thank you. How can I repay this? You don't need to. It's our job as police officers to keep the peace in this town. I threw a glance at Finn. He realized what I wanted as straight as straight as straightened out his back. Everyone, thank you for your assistance in the apprehending this criminal. Finn and I both put our left hands on the hilt and at the hilt of our swords and saluted. The crowd applauded. A lot of people sneer at patrol work. There wasn't much I valued more than that applause and the happiness of those I protected. I love my job. I didn't move over to it longer than I expected. Hi. Yes, I couldn't believe how many how many other offences there were on the record. Got that right. We can be proud of ourselves for capturing someone like that. Let's make this country a better place together. Hi. Yes. This Lady. Why, hello there. You look as fired up as always, honey. This man. I told you before not to call me that. A man called Sinkable, Sinkable Ark, walked towards us with an easygoing air. He was a rank one officer as well, and our colleague. He was a reasonably good officer, but his personality generated a lot of friction. I really hate this man. I couldn't just ignore him though. I swallowed down my ire and spoke to him. Being passionate about one's work hardly seems bad. Absolutely, honey. Thanks to your dedication, it raises the prestige of the entire police force when you work like hamsters in a wheel. Yes, 
But you know, you're a woman. Sooner or later you'll get married or something and leave. Then the, ar then the arrest numbers will fall again and all that hard won prestige goes down the drain. What are you getting at? I'm saying this isn't a place for you. I bit my lips, I wouldn't snap back at him. Ark snorted and turned his attention to Finn. お前も大変だよな、フィン。こんな女の重りを押し付けられて、正義の味方ごっこに付き合わされてさ、とんだ貧乏くじを引いたな。You sure have it rough, Finn. I feel sorry for you having to escort the princess around while she acts like a lawkeeper. Seriously, you got the shortest of straws. Ark? Ark? Oh,なるほど。Oh, did I get that wrong? You seem pretty happy hanging out with her, like a little kid ringing around after his mother. You dare to insult not only me, but Finn as well. You'll pay for this. Oh boy, you should put that away again. I say that for your sake. I'm not the one in danger here. If you, in dan if you injure me, getting kicked out of the force is going to be the least of your troubles. He's right. Please sheave your sword. But... Please calm down. Let's go, Sirius. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Good day to you, model officers. I really hate that man. His sarcastic laughter rang behind us. We stayed side by side as we checked our orders from next day, as if we were on duty. It's not as crowded as here in this late in the in the day. Why did you stop me? I came to a halt as he asked the question, but Finn kept moving forward. Stop you. His sets paused and he turned to look at me. I could see in his expression that he was waiting for me to clarify. I'm talking about earlier. Why did you stop me? Why didn't you find a way to retaliate? Finn gave a quiet murmur. I knew he understood what I meant. But even if he understood, he showed no signs of being troubled by it. He was insulting you. Aren't you upset? Insults like that mean nothing to me. I'm used to them. Used to them? Finn nodded, giving me an uncomfortable grin. Then he took a step towards me. I'm less intelligent and less talented than most, and I know it. I failed the police employment exam twice. I'd be useless in the field without you. Finn. It's alright. I don't care about what other people say about me. As long as I can work with you, I'm happy. That's why I stopped you. I didn't want you or your future to be under any kind of threat because of, because of someone like him. I apologize if you didn't want me involved. Well, well. I can't be angry at you for wanting the best for me, can I? We've worked together for a long time. You probably know this, but... I can be a bit rec reckless sometimes. A bit? 
Are you trying to say something? Ah, uh, yeah. I. <laughs> 少しですね <laughs> Oh no, a little reckless. I agree. Yes, a little reckless. Not very reckless. Just a little, probably. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, I do my best to work on it, but objectively, it doesn't always come to nat no, naturally to me. I've been grateful that you were there so many times. Don't think of yourself as useless. I wouldn't be here without you. I wouldn't have taken the promo prom the promotion exam either. Finn, I'm glad you're my partner. Kirisama. Hey, Cyrus. I told you not to call me that. Finn was invaluable to me so many occasions. If you hadn't been with me, who knows what I might have done? Perhaps what Ark would have been would have been injured now at my hand. I know how lucky it was to have a partner like Finn. Well then, after battle. Senjo? Battle? Yes, I need to try on that dress we talked about. Haha,なるほど. <laughs> Ah, I see. Are you sure you want me there? I don't know anything about women's clothes. Of course, it's essential that you're there with me. I can overcome any hardship with you. That sounds like hyperbole, but I'm so honored, and I want you to know that I'm, that I'm with you. I think the tailor's over there. After me, Finn. Ah, hi. <laughs> My turn. Yes. Oh man. The this dress is so tight. The tailor said it was custom fitted, but I think he always said it said it would be uncomfortable at first. They're taking my measurements for a few months earlier. I didn't want to believe I gained weight in the in in term. I don't like dresses at home to begin with, and this is a whole other level. I sighed and looked at myself in the mirror. I have no idea if this looks good or bad. Therefore, Finn, are you there? Hi. Do you Yes. What is it? How does it look? Oh. Um, Cyrus? Want you to know if it looked good? Your reaction made that quite obvious. That'd be enough, thank you. Enough? What do you mean? だ、黙ってないで答えてください。俺がそちらに行くわけにはいかないんです。ですから Hey, answer me, please. I can't pull the curtain back. You didn't know what to say because it looked so bad, right? No, not at all. I was just startled. Can I see it again? You don't have to be considerate. I'm not trying to be considerate. I swear on my sword that I tell you the truth. Please let me see it again. How is it? It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Finn. Is that the truth? He's mumbling. I didn't want to doubt him, but it seemed like the type to lie, so as not to hurt someone's feelings. I suspected he wasn't telling the truth. Finn, is that the truth? 
具体的にあれこれ言えたらいいんですけどうまく言葉が出てこなくてそのお綺麗です本当に。コーシーズ。I was lost for words how to describe it properly, that's all. It's very beautiful, it really is. たとえるなら、えっ、ー、と、妖精のようです。童話に出てくるような、清らかで美しい、凛とした妖精です。はい。If I had to compare you to something, I'd pick a fairy. A brilliant, beautiful fairy, straight from a fairy tale. Ben mumbled an apology. It amused me to see his large frame frigid around uncomfortably. I laughed. Sumi Mase, you'll say that Nante Okashka this year. Henakoto it is, Sumi Mase. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have called you a fairy. How often are you planning to apologize? Well, I suppose you must be telling the truth. Thank you, Finn. Hi. Do you touch my Okay. You're welcome. It got pretty dark. Stuck. Otsukare sama de sta. Yeah. We did well at the tailors. It sure was exhausting. Especially with my hair getting tangled up in the dress when I tried to take it off. Thanks for your help there, Finn. Ah, hi. How did you get it? At that time, I didn't get to the doctor. Uh, you're welcome. I'm sorry I went into the changing room. You did it for me. There's nothing to apologize for. Ah, ah. But... Um, yes. But it was very rude of me to barge in as you changed. I tried. I would try to better myself. I told you that it's fine. You honestly more dexterous than I thought. So, that. That much, then, I'll just give up. Who can do it? No, no. Anybody calm could have done that for you. I couldn't do it alone, that's for sure. Not as carefully as you did. I probably just have decided to heck with it and cut off my hair. <laughs> Thank you, Finn. Finn smiled at me. The whole ordeal was a chore, but at least it's over and done with. I happily chatted away. Sorry they have to come this far in this direction to walk with me home. I know you live the other way. I don't mind. It means you're not walking home alone. You don't have to worry about me. I can't protect, protect myself with my sword. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I can't help it. I still worry. I don't want to imagine you in danger. Finn. You're my partner. You're part of my life. I want to be able to protect you sometimes, Cyrus. Alright, but the same goes for me as well. We're equals. We protect each other. Don't hesitate, don't hesitate to let me be there for you, okay? Hi. <sighs> okay, thank you. I've got an idea. Would you like to come to my house for dinner? I want to pay you back for how much time you spent with me after work. I'd love to. I've got so much work to do for tomorrow. Oh, I see. 
We're going to the depths tomorrow. I should make some preparations too. Tomorrow is probably going to be exhausting. Do you want to eat with me? Eat with me next time we have the day off then. So this ne. Yes, I'd like that. If it's not too much trouble. Of course it isn't. I'll tell the servants to make a huge feast. <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to it. Yeah, me too. Stop for taking so much of your time. Take care on the way home. Hi. Mata Asta. I will. See you tomorrow. Ben made a little bow and began to walk away. Slowly he faded into the darkness of the night. Well, time to go in. I'm home. Welcome back, it's so late. Oh, yes. I gripped my sword hilt, my tone proud. I tried on the wedding dress. I expected them to be happy, but they didn't even bat an eyelash. I gave them a quiz quizzical look. Hmm, is something wrong? <laughs> Did you really? You're doubting me. With the resistance you pull up, of course. Of course, huh? It's a little hurtful to be a subject of lying by your own parents. I'm sorry, you tried on the dress. Your grandmother, your grandmother made the cloth from that dress while she was still alive. Did you like it? Sh sure. That much was honest truth. I don't like dresses, but the fabric was pretty. I think so. You think so? No, I like it. Grandmother's cloth was superb. It really is. I'm glad you tried it on. Now we can set. Now we can begin with preparations for the ceremony and set a date. A date? There's no date before. So yo, dress is made before you decide. You said it, right? I forgot. Of course. We told you we'd only set a date after you tried on the wedding dress. Did you forget that? Y yes. I really did forget that. In fact, I'd forgotten we even talked about it. I'm really not enthusiastic about getting married. I was surprised at how much I didn't care. Things will start getting hectic. Look after your health. Ugh. There's so much more for me to do. Of course. You have to select the venue, send out invitations, make sure you lose a few pounds, get you looking really beautiful, and... I feel dizzy. Uh, um... May I have something to eat? I'm very hungry. Yes, of course, but don't eat too much. You have to fit into the dress. I know. Marriage is a lot worse than I expected. I am so tired. I placed my sword next to the wall and collapsed onto my bed. 
I knew I had to change my clothes, but my, my body demanded rest. The day was really exhausting. My parents continued to berate me about the reading of future husband for our dinner. They tried to tell me that descendants aren't the be all end all. The government decided my marriage. It was nothing of special significance to me. My parents are very happy together, but I... How was I going to feel? Would Lord Fitz and I ever feel comfortable together as my parents did? I can't really picture that. Catching a thief already felt like an event of, distant, of a distant past. That just proved to how worn out I felt. I want to sleep, but I have to change. I have to prepare for the next day as well. Should I tell my parents that I'm going into the depths? My orders don't say that I'm allowed to tell my family. It didn't seem like the right time. They were unlikely to oppose it outright since it was part of the promotion process. But I knew they'd make a fuss about it. The depths truly were an unknown, terrifying world to us. I won't tell them. No need to cause pointless worry. It's probably better off to tell them after the fact. After reaching my decisions, I crawled under the sheets. Immediately, I began to melt into the soft mattress, my whole body stretching out. Good night, I mumbled and closed my eyes. One day before the case. Okay, so we've got one more day before shit hits the fan. Alright, before we continue on, we end this one here because I need to go and get ready for tomorrow. So we'll be back at some point today, but a little bit later on. So in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this um, mini stream here on this game. I definitely am going to be playing more of it. It's got a good, interesting story. But in the meantime, though, See you in the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.